One, two, two three. No. Oh, yes, I well, two, out of three. Three. Yes. two out of three. Yes. We go two out of three. Last time we did two out of three. The last time she lost? <laughs> Look, I can't believe I'm gatekeeping for two years in a row. I had major plans for this party. Oh, what plans did you have? Plans I can't talk about in front of a nine-year-old. I'll be ten soon. Nice try, sweetheart. What's a gatekeeper? Oh, it's someone who is the keeper of the keys. So if any one of the guests have too much fun, yogurt, we can make sure they can drive home safely before we give them their keys back. You mean if they get drunk? Hmm. Something like that, yeah. Although, according to this list, I really don't think we need a gatekeeper. Look at uh, this, what are you Johnny? talking about? <laughs> Let me see this thing. What is it? Ava, what is that? Wine coolers? Wine, wine coolers. coolers. Wine. Look, we all agreed the party needed modification. Yeah, modification is one thing, but stripping it of its soul is a whole nother all thing. All I did was dial the party down from NC-17 to PG-13. Yeah, well, try G. The only thing missing on this list is pin the tail on the donkey. Oh. You need some fruit hey, in that bowl. Hey, whatever happened to the good old erotic vegetable contest? I like that. Nine-year-old. Never heard of that one. And you never will. Heard of what? <laughs> well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Eat your breakfast. Hey, Nikki, is Cameron going to come to the party? Ooh. Hey, um, well, yeah, I mean, if that's okay with you guys. Sure, that's fine. And any other friend you want to invite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just make sure you're always somewhere where one of us can see him. Oh, Johnny. Mm. What, I'm just saying, I know how young boys All are right. thinking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good call. Orange Squeezy did the trick. Told you. I know you're getting away, won't need a serve instructor anymore. Yeah, right. Seriously, I'm watching out there. You're getting your own style, and it's good. You cutting me loose or something? Gotta happen eventually. Well, I, I guess you're busy with other things. Not yet. Being cautious. Been down that outback road before. <laughs> so, why even bother? You risk a lot with Tanner and those guys. I remember taking a few punches myself. I haven't forgotten. You're one of the good guys, Brayden. You're always gonna do the right thing. Jay, Jay does it in spite of himself. And this time, he came to me. Well, for what it's worth, he does seem different. Like I said, I've been down this road before. Tracy and Brian aren't coming. Yeah, she scored some big interview in the Middle East. That's a shame. We haven't seen him in a while. I thought it'd be nice to catch up. You liar. They get under your skin just as much as ours. That's not true. Yes, it is. Come on, I love him to death. God knows the four of us were inseparable once. But there's only so much I can take of her bragging. And if she brings up that story about the time they stayed at that villa on the island of Capri, I'm going to stab myself with a tiki torch. What about the crazy thing they did in the hot tub? OK, they could get a little wild. But times have changed, and the kids are here now, so it's probably just as well they're not coming. Ooh. All right, another one down. Oh, yeah. Not many left. You can take us. Yeah, later. Hey, Cam. Oh, hey, what's up, Amber? I haven't seen you around. When'd you get back? A few weeks ago. Been hanging with my dad. Oh, yeah. Totally blows about your parents. Yeah, whatever. I can't believe you haven't called. I've been busy. Doing what? Oh, I don't know. A lot of stuff. Going to camp? Harsh. Well, it's not all bad. Nikki makes it fun. Really? You must be good at finger painting. So are you going to be hanging at your mom's all summer? Uh, not for another couple weeks. Too bad. Guess I'll just have to make my way down to the south side. See ya. Later. And how do you know her? Oh, she lives up by my mom in North Carolina. Let's go. Oh. Can somebody Jay, Johnny, are you guys here? No. Of course not. There's work to be done. OK, coming! Oh. Surprise! Hi, we made it! Tracy, Bryant. When I see you smile, I know everything's OK. When I hear you laugh, it's always a Such 
It's a great house. Well, we did get very lucky. Who was the architect? Some Australian guy. Yeah, don't even remember his name. Must have been a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. It's got his imprint all over it. Well, honestly, all I know is that it fits the seven of us comfortably, and that's saying a lot. It reminds me of that villa we stayed at on the Isle of Capri. You would have loved it, Ava. The Ambassador's Summer House. Really? Hey, I'm gonna go down by the pier and hang with Cameron, okay? Okay, but don't forget. I know, I'll be back in time to help set up. All right. Oh, going to meet Erica. Catch a few waves. Well, wait, what about the music list? Don't worry. Taking care. Hey, but Braden, I'm coming through. Bye. Not too late, okay, you guys? Set up. It's a big party. <laughs> These kids, you've done a wonderful job. They're very lucky. Seriously, we're the lucky ones. It's working out just fine. Oh, my God, I almost forgot I have some great news. Well, what is it? What's your great news? I'm on pins and needles. Ava, I did it. White House correspondent in Washington. The producers loved my exclusive with Alan Greenspan, and they came pounding on my door. Wow, that's that's great. That's great. Whoa. Can you believe it? No, I, I, you know, I can't believe it. Well, that really is great news. I'm, I'm very happy for you, Tracy. Smile bigger. Uh, no, you know what? Make that 20 bottles of Cristal. And can you get me the Beluga caviar? Will you hang up? Uh, 20 ounces? Well, how many would that serve? No, no that's Susanna. What are you doing? I, I was just confirming the party menu. Uh, it sounds like you're prepping for a party with the President of the United States and... Uh, uh, newsflash, President's not coming. It was just a few items. Caviar? Okay, the only time you ever had caviar was at my parents' anniversary party, and you puked. I was just trying to make sure that everybody was going to have a good time and they no, were all going to get the... I know what you were trying to do. You don't need to impress those two. Susanna, Tracy's used to rubbing shoulders with heads of state and, and having all the finer things in life. And at the end of the day, she's still anal as ever Tracy. She needs to unclench. You don't need to try and be something you're not. Your life is every bit as exciting as Tracy's, more so. Come on, let's just get out there and show them what we got. Remember this? Like you did last year. You on the dance floor just moving. <laughs> so, what's the deal between you and that girl? What, Amber? Is that her name? Yeah. yeah, we're just friends. I mean, we were kind of more than friends last summer. But that was last summer. She talked to you like she owned you or something. <sighs> That's just Amber. Is she always like that? I mean, with you? With everything and everybody. I mean, not in a bad way. Like I said, it's just her. I mean, she can be a lot of fun. Wild, actually. So, why aren't you more than just friends this summer? Because I'm hanging with you. I mean, Amber's all about what she wears and how she looks. You're not like that. That's what I like most about you. Hey, hey, hey! It's time to get this party started. Oh, yeah. As I recall last year, nobody got their keys back until the cops had come and gone and the son was two hands over the yard arm. As I recall last year at this point, you were two-thirds of the way through the Wilson triplets. Ah, yes. Dawn of the day, Susanna. But it's the dawn of a new era. Really? It's that bad? As hard as I try and go another way, I somehow always end up in her wake. Jaws, nice. <laughs> What's reeling you back in? I think about it even when I'm not with her. And it, not just the obvious. Wow, you are gone. What's up, man? What's up? Welcome, man. Aloha. Aloha. Lucky guy, Jay. How long you and Susanna been a thing? Two, two minutes. months. Two months. months. Two wonderful months. Yeah. yeah. Surprised to see you here, Dalton. Well, you're not the only one confronted with the unexpected. <laughs> I wish I could say I was entirely happy for you, Jay, but uh, you know. Yeah, well, drinks are on the patio, and there's a dance floor on the beach. Unfortunately, I'm glued here to my position, so. Keys? All yours. Jane. Her. <laughs> Start talking. One. 
grateful to see you with these kids. You're natural. Oh, they make it easy. <laughs> As I seem to recall, you were the one who always made things look easy. I think that would be your wife. My wife, Tracy? No, she just tries harder than everybody else. But you always had the ability to make people feel at ease, whatever they were doing. Brian, I don't care how much you suck up. I am not letting Braden play the village people. What? YMCA, macho man, in the Navy? No. Am I the classics? Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Oh, now this. Oh, this. You're right. This is a classic. This is a great one. You're right. <laughs> Dance? Oh. Sure. Look. Okay. Do you remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do remember. <laughs> get back on the Dalton Grant train. God, it took me too long to get off. Real serious, huh? Oh, he's just so seductive in his whole lifestyle, and I just wanted more and more and... Oh, God. Yeah, well, needless to say, he was the kind of guy who doesn't want to commit. Been there. Yeah. Did you say you mind if I borrow your boyfriend for the evening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. On one condition. I lead. Okay, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, do not let me sleepwalk off that cliff. Oh, you mean like Odysseus and the Sirens? See? What? You know, in Book 11 of Homer's Odyssey. After Odysseus escapes from Hades, his ship has to pass by these dangerous rocks where there's these three beautiful women called the Sirens who sing this beautiful song that no man can resist. Only when the sailors try to get to shore, their ships get dashed on the rocks, so Odysseus tells his men to tie him to the mast and not let him go no matter how hard he begs him to. Kind of like that? Yeah, exactly like that. Mm. Ava. What were you thinking? I thought... Did I lead you on or something? Because whatever signals you read, you got across. I'm sorry. I just... I saw you, and we were dancing, and... And what? Seemed like the right time to kiss your wife's closest friend? Come on, you make it sound like... What it was? And what are you doing right now? How come you're not with Tracy? Can't find her. Yeah, you're trying real hard. It's cool your aunt's letting us pick songs. Yeah, my brother needs all the help he can get. Hey. Oh, this is fun. What? Chingy. He's cool. Always with the surprises. Gotta keep it fresh, right? Definitely. Oh, my, look at that. This is a private party. Really? I guess you should have told Cam that before he invited us. You invited them? Hey, I may have mentioned I was coming here tonight, but I don't... I don't exactly remember saying the words, you should come. If you don't want us here. So, how's the music come in? Yeah, so, so, um, is your new friends, Nick? No. I'm Amber. This is Carrie and Buffy. Uh, well, you guys make yourself comfortable. I guess it would be rude to leave now. We can help you pick out some music. Actually, no, I think we can manage, thanks. Cam, I'm really thirsty. Do you think you could show me where I could grab a drink? Yeah, the bar's right over there. Over where? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> May I? Oh, I did ask last night. Do you know you're dancing with another guy? 
Jay is secure enough with himself to know he has nothing to worry about. What are you doing here? If you want to tell me another place I could have found Susanna Rexford tonight? We agreed. You agreed. There's nothing wrong with what we were doing. I was a woman of convenience who allowed herself to think she was something more. No. You were always something more. Maybe on this coast. But in Atlanta, her name was what? Yvette? There's no Yvette here now. you just saw really because from my angle it looked exactly like what it was you and bryant oh my god no tracy it's me you know that's not true that i can honestly say i don't know you're mad at the wrong person trace none of this is ava's fault well don't worry i've got enough anger to go around for the both of you i got caught in a moment that should never have happened well, that's a moment that you've been wanting to happen for a very long time. Tracy, stop it. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, clearly something is going on between you two. I just want to make it painfully obvious that there is nothing going on between me and Bryant. You're wrong. In Bryant's head, there's always been something going on. I'm just here to fill the rest of his time. We'll talk about this later, Tracy. Well, why not now, honey? Let's just get everything out in the open. Okay, um... Hey, is, uh, everything all right? Well, there's the grand understatement of the night. I'm just here to help. Johnny the rescue, as usual. This has really gotten out of hand. If there's something going on between you two, I, I mean, with, with your marriage... Wait a minute. Now it's my fault that you swapped spit with my husband? Oh, so I guess it was your fault when Johnny and I... Oh, Tracy, no. No, no. What? Tracy, no. What does that mean, Johnny? What does that it's mean, Tracy, no? You and Bryant aren't the first to take advantage of a moment. Johnny and I did that years ago. That's right, when you were together. But the thing is, we didn't just stop at a kiss. Johnny? Just leave you two alone. I'm sure you have uh, a lot to talk about. Jay, Kansas? Nope. Have you seen Susanna? Nope. Me neither. Excuse me. I'll get us something to drink. That'd be great. Nice outfit. Thanks. Of course, it's very last year, but I guess you've got to work with what you've got. 
Whatever. Sure you're ready to back up that outfit? Excuse me? Come on, even in Kansas, they know by the way by a girl dresses. The signal she sends out to a boy. Cameron doesn't care about that. He sure cared about it last year. So what are you gonna do when Cam tires of your little schoolgirl games? Don't worry about it. I don't. But you should. It was years ago. Oh, so that makes it okay. I can't believe you never said anything. I didn't want to hurt you. I was like, I was like, I was like a kid then. Come on, Ava. I am really sorry. It was, it was just a, it was a, it was just a. Inexcusable. Yes, yes. But what do you want me to say now? Right? You, you got lucky you didn't marry me. I was unreliable. Come on, Ava. What am I saying that you don't know already? That you cheated on me. That's what. All right, you're. I'm sorry. I, I, I knew it was wrong. Well, I'm glad you could reclaim the moral high ground there, Johnny. Ava, Ava, you mean more to me. It was in Cabo, wasn't it? Ava, Ava. That night, that Brian and I went out on the boat, and you stayed behind. Both of you. It wasn't planned. And then we're home, what, a week, and you break up with me? You broke up with me because of Tracy? No! Listen to me, please. Can we just leave the past in the past? What we have... Johnny was babysitting. Yeah, me too. Hey, uh, have either of you all seen Susanna? You mean Erica? <laughs> I, I usually say what I mean. Well, I hope so. I think she can take another letdown. Who said that's gonna happen? Past history. Well, point well taken. Right now, buddy, I've got to find Susanna. Touch it and die. Susanna! You swore you were over him. Jay, this is not a good time right now. Look, man, it's not her fault. I mean, we have some unfinished business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just back it up, little man. Hey, this is between me and her. Come on, chill, man. We're all adults here, right? Susanna, if you have any hope of trying to save what we have... ...what we had... ...then you better come with me right now. You don't have to go with him. Don't you tell her what to do. Jay... You want this to get ugly? Okay, I, 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 I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, you can thank me later, sweet cakes. Or I could kill you now. What? I, I was tying you to the mast. Yeah. You know the. Couldn't mast? you see we were having a moment? Oh. Hmm. Crashing on the rocks. That's a moment, all right. Can't get over how great you look. So, you want to come up to my room? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I? I'm just asking. So, are you coming or not? Lead the way. Tracy, don't worry, I'm leaving. Tracy, how did it come to this, all this craziness? You and I were friends. Oh, please. It was so obvious between you two. Okay, man, I feel like I have been dropped in the middle of the twilight zone. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, please, the way Brian always talked about you, always looked at you. Look, let's just say in the 10 years of our marriage, I've never had the privilege. So you slept with Johnny for payback? It would be so easy to say yes. But the truth is, we were just stupid and young and hurt. Tracy, I never slept with Brian. That thought never even crossed my mind. Well, it doesn't much matter now, does it? What's done is done. Did you at least ask Brian? 
He never would have been able to deny the way he felt. Then me, why didn't you ask me? And what would you have said? I would have told you the truth, Tracy. Like friends are supposed to do. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Why do you keep asking that? Because you're acting weirder than usual. No word of the Amber. She really bugs you. No, not really. But I didn't bring you up here just to talk about her. So why did you want to come up? Oh, well, that was nice. I thought that that might shut you up. You should have just said so. that I wanted to show you this. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. And actually, we should probably head back before anybody misses us. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it. Guess you had to be there, huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Bad news. What? It's one third of the Wilson trip. Where? Two more that look like that? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that makes two of us. left is sorry is it true what Tracy said I mean about me maybe a little living with Tracy is hardly the road less traveled put that way and seeing you here being here and the life you've carved for yourself and uh, how you are with the family you've changed I've changed. Tracy has. I, uh, I guess I just got caught up, lost in the moment. And, well, I had this stupid idea. Brian, don't. Don't do this. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to Tracy. Don't do it to yourself. Brian, go back to your hotel try to make things right. There's still something left between the two of you. He's had me right with us for a long time. Go home. Work it out. There's nothing here for you. I didn't sleep with Brian. Just to be clear, because Tracy seems to be under that impression. 
I knew better than that. Then why did you? I wish I could answer that without... Uh... The truth is... Um... You scared me. That doesn't make any sense. No, I mean the way I felt about you. It's like we were on this path, all four of us, and making plans about where we'd be in three years and five years, and it was great. You and me. It, uh, it was unbelievable. And uh, I, I just wasn't ready. Neither was I. Nobody was pushing for anything. I know. I know you were. You meant too much to me. You mean too much to me. What's up with the outfit? And the makeup. Okay, I think we should, uh... Yeah, yeah, you know what, everyone? Let's get back to having a good time here. Nothing else to see. Here we go. Hey, Braden, maybe you can uh, hold it down for us. Get out of here. Does someone like to tell me what is really going on here? Nothing's going on. If you're gonna be with her, be with her. I'm Nikki. So you are starting trouble. All right, everybody, let's hit the dance floor. Here we go. What's up, Derek? So, what's with you? Nothing. That's what I thought. Nikki? Hey, you want to talk about it? Not really. It might make you feel better. That's doubtful. Well, let's give it a try anyway. I'm uh, assuming the makeup was a strategic move. Something like that. Mm. And is it safe to say that I won't be seeing it or this, uh, this outfit for at least another couple of years? It's also safe to say. See? This is going well. Now, about the fighting. She deserved it. Nikki, nobody deserves to be hit. Well, maybe some people do, but not in this instance. Yeah, but she thought that she could just take him. Like I wouldn't do anything. Ew, what did you think? You would fight fire with my ruby red lipstick? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Nikki, you don't have to be somebody you're not. The trick is embracing who you are. Yeah, but you didn't see the way Cameron looked at me when I was wearing this outfit. It was like he was seeing me for the first time. Cameron didn't ask you to change, did he? No. See, and he did. Wait a minute. You didn't. I mean, you you did. You didn't. This all stopped at the outfit, right? Yes, definitely yes. <sighs> Nikki, you have plenty of time to be a grown up. Uh, look at me. I'm still trying to figure it out. Just be who you are and have a good time. Cameron likes you for you, and believe it or not, that says a lot about who he is. Just gonna ask you this this one time. 
Why now? I've been asked to head up Spin 5 Records. So that would mean you'd be in... In L.A. 24-7. Wow, congratulations. You always wanted me here. I'm here. Yeah, well, my wants have changed dramatically since the last time you saw me. I find that hard to believe. I mean, Susanna Rexford no longer wants VIP exclusive seating at the top restaurants, the clubs, a house in the hills, view of the city, access to every premier and top rate party. Slow down. I... You know, Susanna would have packed a bag by now. Yeah, well, I mean, Things are different. I, I, they're the kids. I mean, and... come on, we do this right. Just my work. Is your problem? Or... Problem is, I've moved on. starting to feel right. Well, are you going to do something about it? Yeah, I'll try. Do more than try. Because I'm not settling for anything less. This one goes out to a very, very Special she was all over you all night. You didn't even do one thing about it. Uh, I know. I'm an idiot. I should have picked up on Amber using her powers for bad. And if you want me to be like her, dress like her, I can't. I'm not Amber. And I never will be. Uh, nobody asked you to. You know, if I wanted to hang with her, I'd hang with her. Not with you. It's like we're not trying. It just is with us. You look hot, though. Kidding. Kidding. You know you're ready to talk to Playa Linda. Really? Yeah. Girls are really scared. If I could take it back, 